We are live. We are live. Very good, Kathleen. Oh, All right. So welcome, everybody. Hello. My name is Ruben Martin, and I'm a co-founder of Sarelli. I'm also a former principal dancer with the San Francisco Ballet and a ballet master with the Washington Ballet. This is Kathleen Dalhoff, professional dancer and also an ambassador with Sarelli and she's going to help me demonstrate some of the concepts that we talk about today. In these times of extremes and uncertainty, Sarelli and us would like to spread some light to the world by bringing people together while maintaining ourselves active, in shape and positive. With so much information and ballet classes available virtually, we would like to offer some important pointers to apply on basic ballet bar combinations. So you can continue to develop yourself as a dancer in a healthy and conscientious manner. So with that in mind, we're gonna offer you some warm-up exercises as well as some simple ballet bar combinations to apply these concepts, okay? All right, so let's talk about four of the most important points everyone should be focusing on while dancing, yeah? We're gonna start with the most important ones that come from the center of our core. So I'm gonna show you, with the help of Kathleen here, what you should do and what you should not do, yeah? I'll give you examples of both. So to begin with, in order to get the nice ballet um, position stable, and get the posture that we uh, we need. Let me put this chair profile so you can actually, yeah, be seen by everybody. Uh, turnout is not a natural thing, yeah, in human anatomy. So there are some basic concepts that will allow us to work with the turnout without destroying our body, our joints, and so on. So let's talk about what are we gonna do with our core. Their core is one of the most important structures that are going to support our body system against gravity, right? So we want to create space by lengthening and by holding, by bracing it, yeah? So we can actually remain stable and move uh, with uh, the different um, demands that ballet will put in us. So uh, if you can see her stomach, we're gonna think about pulling the stomach in, bracing the stomach in, if you lift your arms a little bit so they, they can see. So pull it in and we're gonna lift it up. So the bracing not only goes into the center, but has to go in and lift up, right? That creates space on their spine and length on the spine, yeah? What we don't wanna do is we wanna sit on it. We wanna protect our spine by bracing and pulling up. So that's number one. Then number two, with the concept of turnout, we're gonna use the glutes in order to really activate all the demands that classical ballet technique has, yeah, throughout, um, throughout the, the curriculum. So we're gonna squeeze the glutes tight while maintaining the stomach in and up, yeah? Squeeze glutes tight. That's point number two. Then point number three, we're gonna remain with straight legs, very strong legs. Straight legs, let's talk about this. What does that mean? Do we buckle the knee? No, we simply pull the kneecap up with the muscles above the knee in order to protect the joint. So what we don't wanna do is sit on the leg as it remains straight. We want to actively pull it up with our muscles so we can actually protect the joints and keep a structure that is strong when we have uh, achieved the, um, the ballet technique. And then four point that we're gonna talk about today is the upper back. Upper back, we're gonna try to achieve a line from the shoulder into the hip. So usually I won't concentrate on that. I wanna concentrate on the way that you activate the muscles between the shoulder blade that will help the shoulder blade stay pinned down, yeah? We don't want shoulder blades that will go into each other. If you can just show. Yeah, let me see if we can, we get the angle correct there. Yes. 
So you, we don't want the shoulder blades to be squeezing to each other and we don't want them sticking out either. I mean, you will, she won't be able to do it right now because she's trained to have them pinned down on the spine. So if you go back profile, yeah, we want to have number one, in and up, right? Number two, glutes, squeeze tight, yeah, to secure the turnout and to increase stability of the hip. So we don't want the hips to go under by squeezing too tight. We want them to be squeezed and long so that the bone of the pelvic stays vertical, that's right, without inverting, with combination of the stomach and the stretch of the legs, absolute, absolutely active all the way through any type of activity that we do in relation to ballet. And then the muscles in between the shoulder blades that will stabilize the upper back and also will help us connect the length of the spine. Yeah, so that's very nice, good. So to put those concepts in practice, we're gonna do an exercise on the floor, yeah? In which we're going to go by sequence, yeah? So let's lie you down on the floor. Let's go maybe that way, yeah. There we go, okay? So we're gonna think about point number one. We're gonna pull in and up. Then we're going to do point number two. We're going to squeeze the glutes. You'll be able to see them right there. Number three, we're going to stretch the knees fully. And then number four, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades in and lift up slightly. Exactly. So there you can see. Yeah. All right. So relax. We're going to put a little bit of music and we're going to go through all three points or oh, sorry, all four points. Yeah. To be able to activate everything we have. We have a beautiful playlist here. So let's do maybe uh, this warm up. Let's raise the volume here. Here we go. Squeeze one, hold two, and hold, stretch three, and hold, stretch four, and hold. Just hold it there. Hold one, make sure that this back is long. Two. Good, and relax, six, seven, and eight. Again, we squeeze, one, stomach, two, then glutes, then stretch knees fully, and upper back. There we go, we're gonna hold, keep nice long spine, long neck, excellent. And relax. Everybody, let's do it two more times. Squeeze one and hold. Squeeze two and hold. Squeeze three and hold. Squeeze four and hold. Good. Hold it and lengthen. Make sure there is a laser beam going through your head and through your feet and relax. Good. Very nice, everybody. One more time. One and hold. Two and hold. Stretch. Three and hold and four and hold and lengthen and hold and make sure you guys are breathing yeah and now relax excellent okay let's take give it a little break you can stand that kathleen all right very good so that was exercise number one with that in mind we're going to now uh, use those concepts to do a very good warm-up exercise, I find, um, for your preparation for class and filling those, um, all of those points to get um, activated and ready to go um, before the class starts. So uh, we're going to do two exercises to warm up. One is going to be a plank in which one are really going to activate all of those points. And then the second one is going to be an exercise facing the bar in which we're going to put those uh, concepts on a more active uh, balletic way. Okay, so why don't we start by holding yeah, the plank. I'll guide you through guys, so don't worry. This is going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be hard. It's going to be maybe like, you know, three minutes. If you feel like you're getting exhausted, tired, you can take a little break, but a little bit of muscle burn. If it's not uh, tendon or ligament or something like that, it's okay, yes? So let's try to do this together, guys. 
we're gonna take the plank position let me see if i can square off this camera correctly very good all right so plank position we'll play this beautiful music and i'll, uh, I'll just guide you through yeah so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna feel the the squeeze of the glutes there yeah and we're gonna squeeze the uh the abs in and up almost like you want to create a little bit of a curve up there we're gonna press down into the floor and then we're gonna stretch the knees as well yeah so that with the stretch of the knees then the activation of the core like bracing you need to really feel like you're bracing and protecting yourself in there to get all of the muscles that wrap the stomach and protect the spine active and also all the activation of the front there to uh, liberate tension of the shoulders yeah? so you're pressing deep down to the floor and you're getting that nice workout of the chest so we're gonna lift up the right leg right leg is gonna lift up and we're gonna hold it and hold it activate the glutes hold it and hold it and hold it and hold it and hold good hang on very nice and hold and hold let's go back to two back to two and breathe keep the activation active left leg goes up and hold and hold good squeeze don't let this go at any time very nice wow so you're wearing a very nice leotard today yeah it must be from a beautiful company yeah all right very nice good hold it hold it hold it hold it now you come back to two and hold very nice just hold and breathe guys don't forget to breathe 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 good right arm is gonna reach out yeah like a superwoman position very nice and we're gonna try to hold all points you have to keep it stable good back to two and hold squeeze and lift up good long neck very nice and six and seven ready for the left arm here we go reach out and out and out and out and out and out back to two and break okay very nice good take a little break so you guys see that uh, having this isometric exercise is very good for that activation of the core. Keep it nice and strong so that can be reflected on your bar work. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing but on the side. We're going to do a little uh, side plank also. You can do the front and the side continuously one after the other. Uh, we, went, we decided to, uh, to do it separately today just so I can take time to explain all of these concepts but uh, you can go one after another yeah so let's flex feet so you have a nice base of support and we're gonna pop up on the hips yeah make sure that you're pressing that elbow down into the floor so you can you can be nice and protected on the shoulder yeah i'm gonna feel that side squeezing tight good activate glutes squeeze tight very nice press down into the floor very good knees stretch Glutes stretch to protect the hips. Good. And six. Let's pump it up. Little pumps. And up. Middle, up. Middle, push. Middle, push. Middle, push. Middle, push. Middle, push. Middle, push. And push. And push. And push. And hold it. Hold it up there in the top. Good, very nice. Feel the squeeze in here, stretching. Yes, she's laughing, so she might be ready to change sides. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, let's go through the middle and then switch to the other side. There we go, very good. Yeah, let's do the, very good. Yeah, the plank on the other side. Same deal, you guys. Yeah, you're gonna feel like the core is bracing and the core is bracing, not only bracing, but lifting up, yes? Muscles completely activate. You're gonna press the floor so you protect the shoulder. Keep the length of the neck there. Squeeze tight, stretch, very good. And it's an active movement, yeah? You don't just sit and stay there. You gotta keep pushing, keep activating muscle so you get into this, um, this cycle of the muscle feedback, yeah? So 
Good. Hold it. Hold it. Almost there. Good. Ready to push. And seven and eight and push. Little push. Good. Pressing the air. Push. Like you're moving your body through very viscous material. Push and squeeze and up and up and up and up and up and up and hold good last hold squeeze glutes tight very nice knees stretch shoulders down very good there we go and then stomach yes okay good let's go and take a little break very nice so that's a very nice warm-up i find to activate all the all the core muscles to help you really maintain the structure throughout your bar work and now we're gonna do another um, warm-up this time we're gonna be facing the bar so we can get into the ballet positions already okay and we're gonna start in second position second position yes and with all the concepts that we applied yeah with points Number one, squeeze in and up. Number two, stretch. Number three, stretch the knees. And then number four, shoulder blades squeeze and lengthen in the neck, yes? Okay, with that, we're going to do a little warm up. Good, and you just follow my directions and we do it all together. So we go down and hold and three, Stay, four, good, little hold there, very nice. On the next phrase, we're gonna squeeze, having little squeezes down, and squeeze, 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 and squeeze, good, hold it there, very good. Then, belly button is gonna be into the spine, that's right, feel the turnout. Go from the right place on the hip. Good. Let go of the bar. Let go of the bar. Let's take the arms to second. Let's take the arms to fifth. Good, hold that back. You see how that back is not moving? Yeah? Good, little pumps on the beat. And down, and down, and down, and down, and down. Good. Right arm opens a la seconde. And open. And stretch. And come up. Okay, good. Shake your legs. Very nice. We're gonna do that one more time, guys, yes? Good, take a little break. What do you feel like? Here. Yeah, glutes. Did you learn your thighs? Yeah, especially the outer thighs when I'm thinking about turning out the more I go down, the more this has to be activated so that I don't yeah. do this. You, you don't feel unprotected. Yeah. yeah. Good. You feel it over there too. A little bit on the top of the knee. Yes. Good. Alright, let's go second again. Alright, so before we start, we're gonna check the points, yeah? Stomach, glutes, knees stretch, and back. Yes? We go down slowly, four counts. And down. And stay, little pumps, and one, and one, make your muscles do it. And good, and six, and seven, hold eight. Arm to the waist, and to the waist. Arm a la second, arm a la second, and lift. And balance, good, little pumps, and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight open one three and four just stretch and we finish okay guys so what do you say yeah did you guys feel that work yeah i think she did she can testify Yep, I'm ready to take class now. I think we are ready too, yeah? So let's do uh, two um, bar exercises. We're gonna start a warm-up exercise, two hands on the bar, um, with some tongue dew and some plie as well, some bending on the side. And then we're gonna do a plie exercise, trying to apply all of those concepts. 
If this is new to you, take the time. You can go slower than normal just to feel it in your body and then integrate it into your regular bar work. If you're more advanced, you can start thinking, thinking about all of those concepts when you go and do your regular bar work or class work. In this case, it will be a little bit hard to, to uh, do it on jumps and stuff like that. But we're gonna just try with uh, some uh, light bar exercises, yeah? So facing the bar, we're gonna do the knee point one and the two. Plie and the two. And side and flex and point and close. Left side, one and a back. Plie and the stretch and side and flex and point and return plie brush back nothing let's go and stretch down your side and close and side and close down plie brush out brush in and stretch down your side and close down your side and close down the yes one and two and three four times Da yam, da down, and stretch and close. Again, a two and three and four and out and down and stretch and close. We're gonna open the right arm for the right side, four counts. Open the left arm for the right side, four counts. And then we're just simply gonna look right, lift up, Cambre, and then recover, turn the head to the other side, lift up first, cambre, and recover, and we'll let go of the bar. Okay? So that'll go, the knee point, and the back, plie, and out, and flex, and point, the knee point, and the back, plie, and side, and flex, and point, plie, and out and in and stretch down the side and in and side and in plie and out and in and stretch down you and close down you and close down the yes four two and three and four yum ba bum ba yum ba bum one and two and three and four one and two and three and four por de bras side side we're gonna lift up and back, lift up and back. All right? Okay, let me see if we have some music here. Just one second. Yes, that would be very good. Okay, good. Here we go. E, let me point. Uh, one, two, with plie. And one and the flex. Good. Number one. Very good. Let me point one, two with plie and stretch. Brush out and flex and point and back. Plie. Use it. Very good. Stomach and stretch. Out and in. Out and in. Plie. Out. Very good, and stretch, out, and in, and tan yes. here we go. E, uh, side, plie, and out, and close. Long waist, plie, and up, and close. Two more, one, two, three, nice, out, plie, good. And por de bras, like you're moving through water. One, two, three, and a four. Return. Five, six, open seven. Very nice. E and one. Good. Now let's show the length there on the cambre. We're gonna look to the right. E and length. Back. Three and the four and back good now left and back okay and return very nice good and simply just finish
Excellent work. Very good, Kathleen. Very nice. Thank you so much for demonstrating. Doesn't she look great? Yes. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go one hand on whatever you have. It can be a bar, it can be a chair, it can be a table, it can be a chimney even. Chin chimiri, chin chimiri, chin chin chimiri. Then we go seven, eight. Do me plie. We go one and two and three and four and plie. And roll, lift up and resist. Grand plie, and two, and three, and four. We're gonna pull the bra forward. Five, six, seven, tendu a la seconde. Same thing, yeah? Number one, number two, straight knees back. To the plies, up, yum, pam, pam. Roll through, two, and three, and four. Grand plie, two, and three, and four. And we're gonna pull the bra side. Six, Seven, tendu, the mirant into the fourth. Fourth position, one, two, and three, and four, and five. Roll and up, just resist your heels. We're gonna open, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, tendu, back to the fifth. In fifth position, just a little bit different. We're gonna go with the grand plie right away. And then we're gonna pull the bra all the way around. Yeah, come up seven and eight for a little balance in fifth. Yes? So pretty stand. To the plies, roll through, grand plie, pull the bra. To the plies, roll through, grand plie, pull the bra. Fourth position, a little different. One, two, three, four. Roll through. Lower the heels, lift to arabesque, lift to arabesque, and open into the fifth. To the knees, one grand. Pour the bra all the way around. And then finally going up into the fifth for a nice balance. Very good. Let's prepare. Let's prepare with some plies. Yes? Chasing cards. What's that? That's a... Uh, perfect. That's a, yeah. You're perfect. Okay. Why oh, you know this too fast? No, that's good. Okay. Good. Let me plie. One and stretch. One and stretch. Roll through. Good. And stomach in. And stretch. And good. Two. Excellent. Three and four. Bending forward. And recover. Down to your last second. Yeah. And stretch, very nice. Down and grand. Rolling and up, excellent. And all the way down. Good, lifting for the bra side. Beautiful. And down to you. We go into the fourth position. Yeah, don't forget your points. Stomach. Good. Back knee opens, very nice. And rolling through. And resist. Good, nice. Traction of the waist. Take your time. Very good. Et tendu. Up into the fifth. Last set. One, two. Good. Excellent. All the way. Beautiful. Good. Six. Let's come up. Seven. Eight. Good. Stomach. Glutes. Stretch your knees. Press strong. Press strong. Tight. And land. Stretch, beautiful landing to finish. Nice and strong, you guys, yeah? Landing at the end of the exercise, one of the most important things to secure all the technique that you've been working on throughout the whole exercise, you guys, yeah? So just before we go, everybody, yeah, let's do it one more time to the other side. How about that? You guys warm? Yes. Very nice, so that tune, I liked it. 
We're gonna play it again. Which one was it? Perfect. All right. First, first position, please. Very nice. Good. Stomach. Bump. Stretch knees. Back engage. Excellent. And. Good, make sure the knees go to the side. Excellent. One. And grand plie. Good, knees stay out as you come up. And breathe forward. Lengthen out. Good. Yeah. Stretch. Good. And rolling through, keeping the knees out, shoulders. Good. Long neck. Grand And in. Good. And por de bra. Follow your fingers. Very nice. Now see your palm. Open. Fourth position. Good. Excellent. And back knee opens. Stretch down and we roll. Excellent. We resist, keeping the turnout. Take your time. Two and the three. Eat on do. Out and close. And one. Good. And grab the air. Follow your hand. Good. Back knee opens as you come up. Excellent. All the way, breathing. And involve your head. Beautiful movement, keeping the curve of the arm. Good. Abre la ve. And your balance. And stay. Stay. And land. Excellent. All right, let me stop this. Okay, very good. Very nice. You did it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is all we have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, window into what we do for a living, which we love. And unfortunately, we can't keep doing it right now, but uh, hopefully soon we will be able to. So sharing this with you is our ways to do what we love as well as communicating to you that we love you and we hope that you're staying safe, you're staying healthy and that you keep active and positive through all this work, yeah? So don't forget your points, guys, yeah? One, two, straight legs and back, nice and strong so you can keep your bar and your center work as stable and strong as possible, okay? All right, Saturday friends, thank you so much. Bye, 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 bye.